Good morning, English language learners. I am Arham, and today we'll be looking at another idiom, and this one is to take the bull by its horns. All right. So, what does this mean? In very simple words, let's imagine a bull, and what we need to do is we need to face this bull. Now, of course, a bull is quite the maniac. You know, bucking away. and uh, being very violent being very intimidating and of course he's an aggressive animal so how should we control that situation well it is said that this particular idiom comes from the idea that the only way to subdue the only way to allow a bull to yield to your influence is to take it by its horns because let's say we catch it by its tail its horns are still open to us and we can easily be compromised similarly if we take it by its uh, head or by its uh, back it is very possible that its uh, its horns are still available to attack and tackle us so rather than getting mauled and mutilated it was said to take the bull always by its horn maybe you can already start to see what perhaps this particular idiom means it means that you have to take charge and confront a situation okay so when you want to take charge of a situation show leadership show action show proactivity in a situation then you are taking the bull by the horn All right. We can also think about uh, the history of bull. A bull is a very, very aggressive and monstrous sort of creature. You may have seen these matadors uh, fighting bulls in bull fighting, uh, uh, bull fighting competitions and things like that. And they have this muleta, which is that uh, red color cloth which they flag. and thus the bull comes and you know he uh, runs into or butts its head into that particular flag so just imagine that entire scenario and then see that if you were placed in such a scenario what perhaps you could do you could take it by its horns and take charge of the situation like you can be the person who can lead rather than the bull being the one who is the uh, person who is going to be attacking and being in the lead i want to give you an a sentence a, an example sentence of uh, how we could use this so for example my mother said if you don't take the bull by the horns very soon you can expect to fail in math this time all right what we can now talk about is some scenarios in which in which we can explore the idea of what may happen if we don't take the bull by its horns of course if you don't take a bull by its horns quite literally you would be attacked very badly but if we even figuratively in this idiom form do not take the bull by its horns we can experience failure we can experience uh, you know we could just be very lazy we could end up being very unproductive in our life and perhaps find our life fleeing us by without us being in charge of it so as a responsible human being we are always at the helm of our destiny and we steer it as we wish thus the only way to do that many times is to take the bull by the horns so i hope you have learned this idiom today i'll see you next time take care